You can't flip the channel without stumbling on a show about forensic science, but how accurate are they? Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're speaking with author Kathy Reichs about her show Bones and how science is represented on TV. Do you think you could use a computer to recreate the complete imprint the bullet left? I don't know if I have enough here to work with. What are you getting at? After it's discharged, every bullet has a distinct pattern etched into it from the barrel of the gun, right? Mm -hmm. That same pattern would be etched into the bone as it passes through. If we can recover that pattern, we can reverse engineer the bullet. Then you'll be able to tell which weapon was used. Make, model, the whole shebang. It is very important for me that the science be correct, and that's my primary role as a producer on Bones, is to, they do the, the characterization, they do the plotting, they come up with each episode idea. We've had 112 episodes now, so that's a lot lot of story ideas. But the writers will then come to me with questions about how to make it work, what would be the fracture patterns that would indicate this or that or the other. And then I read each script and, and give input on the science. How many television shows would you say accurately depict the science? I've seen things done that I know you can't do. Whereas on our show, if you see technology or you see a methodology, it, it exists. Now, some of the things we use, does any crime lab I've ever seen have them? No, because it's too expensive, but they do exist. So you'd match a digital replica of the bullet with any recovered bullets the FBI has? Yes, so we can cross-reference crimes, suspects, weapons. Amazing. Forensics is hot right now. Do you find that this helps or hinders the field? It's good that the general public is aware of what a powerful tool science is. I think it's good and that kids are getting excited about science, especially to get young girls excited. Science rocks. I mean, you can choose it as a career and it's cool. Um, I think the downside is that the general public's expectations are unrealistic in that on television and in books, the, the bad guy always gets caught and there's always that one little sliver of you know, wood or some exotic bug or whatever that they find that cracks the case. And that's not always the case. What are you doing? Diminished fluorescence. That only happens if the bones have been cleaned and treated. These bones didn't start out in the shaft. They were placed there. What? Who's got 300-year-old bones? 